The Qatar. The Qatar is a type of push dagger from the Indian subcontinent. The weapon is characterized by its H-shaped horizontal hand grip which results in the blade sitting above the user's knuckles. Unique to the Indian subcontinent, it is the most famous and characteristic of Indian daggers. Having originated in South India, the weapon's earliest name form was Katari, which means stabbing blade. Its earliest forms being closely associated with the 14th century Vijayanagar Empire. It may have originated with the Mustika, a method of holding a dagger between the middle and index finger still used in Kalaripayattu and Gaka today. It has a short, wide, triangular blade. Its peculiarity lies in the handle which is made up of two parallel bars connected by two or more cross pieces, one of which is at the end of the sidebars and is fastened to the blade. The remainder forms a handle which is at a right angle to the blade. Some handles have long arms extending across the length of the user's forearm. The handle is generally of all steel construction and is forged in one piece together with the blade. The blade, typically measuring 30 to 90 centimeters in length, is usually cut with a number of fullers. Most Qatar have straight blades, but in South India, they are commonly wavy. South Indian blades are often made broad at the hilt and taper in straight lines to the point and elaborately ribbed by grooves parallel to the edges. Occasionally the blades are slightly curved, making them suited for slashing attacks. Some blades are forked into two points, which would later develop into the scissors katar. The force of a katar thrust could be so great, that many blades were thickened at the point to prevent them from bending or breaking. All katar with thickened tips are commonly described as armor piercing but it is likely that only narrow and slender blades made this function possible. Such a weapon was capable of piercing textile, and even plate armor. This quality was preferred for warfare, where an opponent was more likely to be armor clad, as opposed to single combat. Ars blade is in line with the user's arm, the basic attack is a direct thrust identical to a punch, although it could also be used for slashing. This design allows the fighter to put their whole weight into a thrust, Typical targets include the head and upper body, similar to boxing. The sides of the handle could be used for blocking but it otherwise has a little defensive capability. As such, the wielder must be agile enough to dodge the opponent's attacks and strike quickly, made possible because of the weapon's lightweight and small size. Indian martial arts in general make extensive use of agility and acrobatic maneuvers. As far back as the 16th century, there was at least one fighting style that focused on fighting with a pair of katar, one in each hand. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.